Let's make a text adventure game with places and transitions between the places. And in the future, maybe we could even have sound effects and music and pictures. But for now, just text. Um, so let's imagine we're on a spaceship. So let's uh, identify some places that we could have in the game. And so let's start with the bridge. That's the um, kind of like the control, central control place for a spaceship. And um, these places have two parts. One is just a short title like this. And then the second is uh, kind of a description. And these could get quite elaborate if you wanted. Um, okay, so notice that I used a real typographic quote here as opposed to the apostrophes that we use for, for programming. That's because this is English. It's for people to read. And um, so if I try to run this, I'll get an error. Python compliance, not ASCII character in the file. So uh, I'm going to add a little um, special comment to the beginning of the file here. This uh, this tells Python that the uh, that this module contains um, specially encoded characters. Uh, that's a subject for another uh, conversation. But uh, that allows me to have this. So when I run it again, there are no complaints. Okay, so I have the bridge, and let's have a ready room. Okay, so I have two places, and then uh, one more, the lift. Uh, on Star Trek, they call this the turbo lift throughout the ship. Okay, so let's run, and no complaints, so that's a valid Python program. Now, what we want to do is uh, specify some transitions between the places. So I want to say that from the bridge you can go to the uh, the ready room and the lift. So I'm going to encode that in a, a dictionary. So transitions is a dictionary of uh, several elements. The first one is the key is the bridge and then the value is all the places you can go to from the bridge. So we can go to the ready room and we can go to the lift from the bridge. And the next element in this dictionary is where we can go to from the ready room. So here's the ready room and from the ready room we can go back to the bridge. Uh, notice the trailing comma here. We need that since this is a tuple. And finally, where can we go to from the lift? And from the lift, we can go back to the bridge. All right, there we have three transitions. And so let's just run and no complaints, so that's fine. Now we need uh, to decide where we want to have the, the game start, the starting location. Uh, so the Let's start on the bridge. And now we need a main game loop while true. And then uh, print location sub 1. Now location is a variable and it has been assigned to whatever a bridge is and bridge is a tuple with two elements. So if we say location sub 1, we're getting, uh, you know, it starts at 0, so sub 0, sub 1, we're getting the second element. So what should happen is this uh, description should come out. Um, okay, I want to test that, but I don't want to actually run the loop, so let me just comment that out for a second and uh, unindent that, and I'll run. Perfect. You're on the bridge of a spaceship sitting in the captain's chair. That's exactly what I wanted. All right, so let's put the loop back. And now we want to say where we can go from here. You can go to these places. 
and then I'll make another loop. It lists all the places, so I'll say for. Now here I want to get um, all the transitions from the current location. So I want something like um, for t in transition sub location. So transition sub location, what does that mean? Well, transitions is our dictionary. Location, when we start, is set to bridge. And uh, bridge is a valid key for the dictionary. So transitions sub location will get us this tuple. So that's going to produce the tuple with the places you can go to from the bridge. And uh, so let's, um, for each one of those, we'll say print the uh, the transition. Okay, and again I'm going to comment out the loop. And let's just see what we get here. You're on the bridge of a spaceship sitting in the captain's chair. You can go to these places and then we have two places that appear. And what are we seeing? Well, we have parentheses around here. That tells us that it's a tuple. And uh, then another one. So that's not quite what we want. We want to print, um, instead of the transition, we want to print T sub 1, which will give us this description. So let's make that change and run it again. Perfect. You're on the bridge of a spaceship, sitting in the captain's chair. You can go to these places. The captain's ready room, a turbo lift that takes you places throughout the ship. Well, this is great. Um, then we want to be able to say um, choose one and uh, let the player type a number one for this place, two for this place, and then go to those places. So we have to have a way to uh, to make numbers to go with this. So we're going to use enumerate and enumerate takes a sequence like uh, like uh, transition sublocation and it uh, from it it builds uh, kind of attaches a number to each element in the sequence and um, so it we can extract that like this, the index and the tuple. So what happens is we get all the transitions for the location and then we use enumerate which uh, joins each transition with a number and then we assign the number to i and we assign the transition to t. So now we can say something like print i plus one comma T sub 1 and let's see what this gets us. Okay, perfect. You see the number 1 and then the place. Actually, we don't want sub 1, we want sub 0 because we just want the title. There we go. So you can go to these places, ready room and then the lift. And now we need to prompt for what the choice is. So we say uh, choice gets the integer result of raw input choose one and then let's see what that looks like. Okay, so we could type a number here and no complaints there. So let's see what's next. Well, what are we going to do based on this choice? We're going to change to the to a new location. So we're going to assign to location. Um, we're going to we're going to follow the transitions. The transitions from the current location. Then we're going to choose the one based on the choice and um, now we're ready to go into the loop. OK, 
Okay, so now we should be able to just go around wherever we want. You can go to the ready room and the lift, so I choose ready room. Now we're in the captain's ready room, and from here we can go to the bridge, so I choose that. And from the bridge we can go to the ready room and the lift, let's go to the lift, back to the bridge, so on. So this is a good uh, beginning of a game that lets you navigate around a space uh, using defined places and transitions. And uh, the next step would be to add some uh, uh, events that take place, uh, some treasures that you can get, and maybe some battles you have to fight, things like that. Uh, so you can grab this program and add your own locations and transitions, and uh, in future lessons we'll expand on this. So long.